to the tips and tricks of chemistry and the part two of stability of carbocation. This saying holds true for the stability of carbocations. When you are poor, it's good to have rich neighbors. As you all know that the carbocations are electron deficient, so they are actually get stabilized by the electron donating groups and they are destabilized by the electron withdrawing group. To understand the stability and to check the stability, we have to always follow the RHI rule. That is, you have to check resonance, then you have to check hyperconjugation, and then you have to check inductive effect. You have to understand that the resonance will always have the higher priority on hyperconjugation, and the hyperconjugation will have the higher priority than the inductive effect. Means the one which is having the higher resonating structure will be more stable. Let's decide the stability order by taking few examples. In this example, we have to again recall the concept of inductive effect. In each cases, the group like NO2, Cl, F and Cn will withdraw the electron and make the carbocation unstable. The inductive effect sequence will be totally depending upon or you can say the power of the inductive effect totally depending upon the distance of the group from the carbocation. First of all, you have to check the distance. Then you have to check, check the number of atoms. If the number of atoms are same, then you have to go for the power. Means the distance will have the higher priority than the number of atoms and the number of atoms will have the higher priority than the power. So let's check the distance of the electron withdrawing group from the carbocation. The one which will be have at the lower distance from the carbocation will withdraw the electron more and make the carbocation very unstable. Here you can see that in the example number 2 and 3, you can see that the chlorine and the fluorine are at the lesser distance as compared, as compared to the example number 1 and 4. So as the distance of these group are same from the carbocation, you have to look for the number of atoms. Here the number of atoms of the chlorine is 2 and the fluorine is only 1. So the withdrawing tendency of chlorine will be more than the fluorine in these examples. So as the chlorine can withdraw the electron more, so the unstability possessed uh, given by the chlorine will be more. So the chlorine 1 will be more unstable than the fluorine one. Now let's decide the stability order of first and fourth. The distance of NO2 and Cn is same from the carbocation as you can see. So as the distance is same you have to look for the number of atoms. So the number of atoms are also one. Then you have to go for the power. As you all know that the power Withdrawing power of NO2 is greater than the cyanide. So the NO2 will withdraw the electron more. So this particular carbon will get more deficient. So it will get become more unstable. So the nitro group 1 will be more unstable. So the fourth one will be more stable than the first one. And the first one will be more stable than the third than the second one. Let's check out this example. As I told you that to decide the stability, you have to follow RHI rule that is resonance, hyperconjugation, then the inductive effect. Here, as you can see that you can have the resonating structure for this, like this, that the double bond will shift here. So you will have something like this. So it is having the resonating structure. The second and third will not show any resonating structure. So you have to check the hyperconjugating. Here you will have a three alpha hydrogens. From here you will have two alpha hydrogen. So total of five alpha hydrogen from this. And in this case, you will have three alpha hydrogen from here, three alpha hydrogen from here. So you will have six alpha hydrogen from here. So the stability given by the resonance is more than the hyperconjugation. So the first one will be most, sta most stable than the third one and third one will be more stable than the second one.
take this example. We are having the example of benzylic carbocation, allylic carbocation, and alkylic carbocation. First of all, we have to check the resonance. Here, this double bond will get shifted over here to give you a structure like this. And the positive charge will be here because there is a scarcity of electron here. Then the double bond shift will shift here to have the resonating structure like this. And the positive charge will be here. Then finally, the double bond will shift here to give you the structure like this. So as you can see that here, it is having the three resonating structures for this particular compound. In this case, only the double bond can shift here and the positive charge will shift here. So it is having only two resonating structure. And in this case, there is no resonating structure. So the resonating structure one will be the higher resonating structure one will be more stable. So first one is more stable than the second one and the second one will be more stable than the third one. Let's check this example. There's a unique question and it has some exception in it. There is a benzylic carbocation and it is tertiary alkyl carbocation. You have to always remember it is an exception. The benzyl carbocation is less stable than the tertiary alkyl carbocation. Let's see this example. With the benzyl carbocation, we are having the OH group on the para position, on the ortho position, and on the meta position. As you all know that OH group is having the two kind of effect. That first is plus M effect. That is mesomery effect and second is minus i effect you don't have to take care of the minus i effect when the distance of the group is far from the carbocation first of all let's see uh, the resonance here the double bond can sh shift over here and the positive charge can be here the double bond can shift here and the positive charge can be here and the double bond can shift here and the positive charge can be here. When the positive charge, that is the electron scarcity, can be on the ortho position and the para position. So the mesomeric effect of OH group can be helpful on the ortho and the para position. So there is no use of OH group on the meta position because the positive charge will never generate on the meta position. So the third one is the least stable one. But as you can see that the OH group is on the ortho position and the para position too. So which one will be more stable? As you all know that the OH group is having the two kind of effect plus M effect and minus I effect. You don't have to consider the minus I effect when it is too far. But here the distance of the carbocation and this OH group is less. So with the plus M effect, this will also show the minus I effect which actually decrease the stability of this particular carbocation. So you have to consider the first one is the more stable one than the second one and the second one is more stable than the third one. Take this example. In the first case with the benzyl carbocation you are having the methyl group on the para position. Methyl group actually shows plus I effect which is very helpful for the stability of carbocation. In the second case there is a OH group on the para position which actually shows the plus M effect and with that it also shows the minus I effect. You should not consider the minus I effect because the distance of OH group with the this particular carbocation is too far. So the electron withdrawing tendency of due to the lone pair of electron of oxygen is very less because the distance is too far. So you have to say that the stability of this one will be greater when you are having the mesomeric effect. Here, Cl is having a minus I effect. It will withdraw the electron, which is not good for the stability of carbocation. And NO2 is also having the minus I effect, which is again, it is not good for the stability of carbocation. But the withdrawing tendency of NO2 is greater than the Cl. So fourth one will be more unstable than the third one. And when I have to check 
from the first and second, the mesomeric one will have the upper hand on the plus I effect. So the second one is the more stable than the first one. In this example, the first one will not show any kind of resonance. The second one will show the resonance. Third one will also show the resonance as it is having the two double bond. So you will you will say that it will show more resonance. You are you are correct, but it contains four pi electron and it is when you are having the four pi electron, it is anti aromatic. So and and you have to consider that anti aromatic is most unstable. So the second one which is having the resonating structure will be more stable than the first one. Then first one is more stable than the third one because the third one is an anti-aromatic compound. 